everybody thank you so much for clicking on my video to watch so you may have noticed you may have not if you're new but i did change up my background a little bit i got some plants some greenery because spring is coming my phone's there shouldn't have been there and i'm so excited for it i also got a snake plant which was so cool but that is over there on my floor anyways that is not what today's video is about today's video i'm doing this makeup tutorial and the main focus is this baby i finally have this in my life i have been wanting the shanixo palette i want the original one but i also wanted the remix and i found the remix at winners i think winners is just in canada but if you are not in canada it's basically the same thing as a tj maxx or a marshall's and you can find super cheap high-end and drugstore makeup there so i found this palette for 7.99 it's such a steal i'm so happy about it and basically i just wanted to play around with it with the look i also got some other new things from winners that i also use for the first time in this video before we get on to the video please don't forget to subscribe click that little bell beside the subscribe button that way you guys get notified every time i upload a new video also be sure to like this video if you enjoy makeup looks and if you'd like to know how i got this look and my little thoughts on the new products that i bought then please just keep watching i'm gonna put on some primer first i'm gonna use my annabelle hydrating illuminating veil because clearly i can't put this stuff down now I'm going to pop on my foundation. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Lumi True Match again. I just used this in my last video. I want to use it again. And like I said in my last video, this one is a little bit too dark for me. But I feel like once I blend it out and put on all my other face products, it's not that big of a deal. So I'm just going to squirt it directly onto my Real Techniques sponge that's kind of dirty. And just apply it on my face. That way I feel like this foundation applies best with the sponge. And the Real Techniques sponges are one of my absolute favorite sponges i like the beauty blenders as well but this is a really good affordable option it's literally half the price and also my sponge is damp for concealer today i'm going to use a covergirl one this one is the it last all day and i have the shade fair i find this shade to be more on the light side rather than fair i think it's showing up pretty fair on camera but looking at it i really see the yellow in it i just want it to be a hint lighter because then i feel like it would be much more highlighting but I'm just gonna pack this underneath my eyes and then just on the center of my face like normal. This one's fun because it's a squeezy tube so you just squeeze it out as you go. And I'm also gonna be blending this out with the same sponge and just melt it into the foundation. For my powder, I'll switch it up today. I have been using my Pretty Vulgar loose powder <laughs> non-stop so I will use my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder today. I have the shade Pound Cake and I'm just going to apply it with a brush, not bake with it. Since my foundation is so dewy and my skin is, I feel like I don't really need to be baking today. And I'm just gonna set everywhere I put that concealer down. I'm gonna use my Hoola Bronzer for my face today. I'm just gonna take my Too Faced Mr. Right brush and apply it all over my face. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do for my eyes, but I feel like they're gonna be more on the dramatic side, so I want my face to stay fairly neutral. So this bronzer will be perfect for it. For my contour, I'm gonna go into my Tartus Pro Glow palette and I'm going to take this shade called Sculpt. And I'm just gonna grab my NARS Eda brush and put this into the hollows of my cheeks and underneath my lip and the tip of my nose. I never really change up my contour routine. I just change up the shades of it. So whenever I explain this stuff, I always just say the same thing because I always do the exact same thing. And then sometimes I put it right here on my temples. I'm going to finish up the rest of the face after. And right now I'm going to move on to my eyes. I'm super excited. I've been wanting this palette forever. So this is the BH Cosmetics Shanaxo The Remix palette. So it's the one with 18 eyeshadows and i'm so excited the packaging is so freaking cute it has two sides so you open this side and here is nine of the shades and then the other side has more this hot pink shade is calling my name but i feel like i've been doing a lot of pink looks lately so i'll stray away from that and i have this really cool eyeliner that i want to use and it's blue so i kind of feel like i want to match it pretty good so i found this Too faced glitter pop peel off liner for $5.99 <sighs> i found such good deals and this is stunning so there's no way i'm not going to use this so i'm going to need to figure out a look that's going to complement the eyeliner and this mirror is really good by the way i haven't looked in it yet i think to start off i'm gonna grab the shade sd right here and just pop it into my crease i just grabbed my pixie crease brush this is the eo2 
Wow, the eyeshadow is amazing. I've actually never used CH eyeshadows before and everybody raves about them and they're so affordable. So I'm so excited to have these in my life because everyone's right, these are so good. That literally took one swipe and so much pigmentation was on there and it builds up so easily. Next I'm gonna take the shade Stalker and I'm just gonna use the same brush and work this onto the outer part of my crease. Kind of like a reddish pink, that's really pretty. Like, look at that. One tiny little swipe and it's all on there and it's blended really good too. It's like I don't even have to do anything. These eyeshadows just great to look by themselves. I'm gonna take the Pixi EO3 brush and grab the shade called Vampette. That's so cute. It's this one right here. And I'm just gonna pop it. These are so pretty. Like I had a feeling that I was really gonna like these, but oh my gosh, I love these. So yeah, I'm just defining the crease. This has a little bit of shimmer in it. Unless it was just left over with something else. Oh. I think there was something else on my brush before. <laughs> Whoops. I'm going to switch over to the other side of the palette now. And I want to try this shade called Silhouette. It looks like a black. Maybe with a slight tint of navy blue, but let's see how it looks. I'm going to grab the same brush. I'm going to try and just focus this really low on my outer corner. I don't want too much of this shade. I don't think I've ever blended out a black that easily in my life. While I'm working with this black, I'm just going to take a little bit on the outer corner of my lower lash line and just connect it with the edge. I'm gonna grab the shade Clarity. It's a matte cream shade. And I'm just gonna pop this onto the rest of my lid where I don't have any eyeshadow. Even that shade is pigmented, oh my gosh. Blending into the other shade beautifully. I'm just gonna finish off my lower lash line. I'm gonna be grabbing the shade called Stalker and putting it on the rest of my lower lash line. Okay, I'm gonna try the glitter liner. I can't not, it's so pretty. I'm gonna try very carefully lining my upper lash line. Also loving this, it applies so easily, this eyeliner. What if I did something like this on my lower lash line? That's what I'm gonna do, I guess. I'm just gonna leave this one halfway, or this one's more so of a quarter way on my lower lash line, and then the upper lash line, I just leave the eyeliner halfway. I guess I can finish off my face now and then Finish off my eyes. I'm gonna go into my Pure Midnight Masquerade palette and take this blush shade called Reveal. I think it'll go pretty good with the eyes because it's more on the plummy side. Apply it to the apples and drag back. Did I just do a big old patch? Oops. I also like to put some here sometimes. Wait a second, what's happening? It's going on really patchy. I've never had that problem before. It might be the foundation. Did I not have this issue in my last video? I think I did. Because it's a dewy foundation, so I don't think some products want to blend out properly. I don't know. It just sticks patchy sometimes. Oh, that's so annoying. Well, my blush looks muddy. I'm going to apply my highlighter and continue to try and fix my blush after. I'm going to use the Balms Mary Luminizer. As you can see, I'm obsessed with it. It has been around for such a long time. And I got on the bandwagon late, so when I hopped on the wagon, I became obsessed with it. And now I use it non-stop. And now people don't use it as much anymore. And here I am now, super late on this bandwagon. Now I'm just going to grab my same powder that I was using before and just bake underneath my contour line because it does look a bit messy. And I just want to clean it up. Okay, I had this sitting on for a couple minutes, now I'm just going to wipe it off. I also have this Cover FX Shimmer Veil. This is in the shade Amethyst. And I'm debating putting a little bit of this on my eyes. I don't know if it's too light though. I'm doing it. I'm just gonna dab some in the center. Please don't take away my other eyeshadow. My eyeliner is actually starting to peel off in the inner corner right here, but I didn't say you can do that yet. I thought it was peel off when I wanted it to peel off. I am just going to set my face with my Pixi Fixing Mist. And then I'm going to do my lashes and I have no idea what I'm gonna do for my lips yet. So I'm just gonna pop on some of my Girl Exhibitionist mascara and prep my lashes. And check this out. I got these Allure eyelashes, which I think are pretty popular. I've just never tried them before. For $3.99. Wow, did I ever find a bunch of good deals that day? So these are the ones I'm gonna use today. Oh, it even comes with its own lash glue, which looks separated. So I'm just gonna not that. I'm not sure if I trust it. I'm sure I put way too much lash glue on this. I definitely put too much eye glue on. Eye glue, eyelash glue. 
Oh my gosh, it's getting everywhere. So the eyelashes are really pretty, but I just got eyelash glue everywhere. Okay, so this is what the inner corners of the eyeliner is doing. I got my eyelashes on and I had to take them off and redo the eyeliner like two to three times because it's just the inner corner that's doing it. My lower lash line isn't doing it, so I don't know if it's the curve in my inner corner that's making it pop off, but that is super annoying. So I might just have to take off the inner corner part of the glitter liner, which is dumb because that's what makes the inner corner pop and look pretty. All right, so I just have my lips left. I don't know what color I'm gonna go for. I'm thinking maybe Crush from Anastasia. I think that'll be a good match. I also have this lip liner from Milani. This is the all natural lip liner. I'm just gonna go around my lips with it and clean up the edges. I'm going to grab, ooh, these are so soft. Holy Grail from the Shan XO palette. This one right here. And I'm just gonna pop that on the inner corners of my eyes. And then this will be the last step. Okay, maybe I'll, some of my brow bone too. That's a really pretty shade. Okay guys, well, that was it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the final look that came out of it. I am absolutely obsessed with this palette. The eyeliner, I love. It's so beautiful. And nothing's happening on my lower lash line, but my upper lash line, it just wants to peel off. I am definitely going to be doing more looks with this palette because I am in love. So please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.